NitroCell eCommerce presents Advanced Features of NSC PAM. The Product Attribute Manager is a NitroCell software used for quickly editing large amounts of item data from your point of sale database. In the PAM introductory video, we review the available features and utilities. This tutorial will illustrate how to use these features and implement them correctly into your web store operations. Creating filters is a common task while using PAM. Frequently, data already exists in your database that can be used to generate a refined list of items for editing. For example, you might need to produce a list of items that are not only in a department or category, but that also contain or start with a word. For this demonstration, let's assume we've collected images from the Acorn Company and I'm now ready to apply them. Looking at the data, we can see that Acorn shoes all begin with the word Acorn. By creating a filter, description starts with, or description contains, Acorn, Pam will filter out items that don't meet that criteria. Slightly more complicated, let's assume the images sent only include boys' shoes. We can narrow the filter even further by adding an and department equals boys. More complicated yet, the images they provided are for two different departments, boys or girls. In this demonstration, I'll show you how not to create a filter. First, I'll add an or filter so the statement seems to read acorn, boys, or girls. This is actually incorrect. When we look at the results, we see that the entire filter actually calls for acorn and boys or any girls. The filter we desire to make should actually be acorn and boys or acorn and girls. Now we see the desired result. This way of thinking can be tricky at times, but with practice, filtering will soon become second nature. This manner of thinking can also be illustrated by the default filter in PAM, that even if deleted, will always return when you modify the filter next. The filter reads, inactive equals false. Because we only wish to work with active items, PAM is hard-coded in this way. Inactive equals false is a double negative and is actually saying active items. For this reason, you will always see this filter in place. Next, we'll explore creating our own attributes to filter by or to use on the web store. By selecting Add Attribute, we're presented with a simple dialog box. We must name the attribute and define its type. You have five to choose from. Checkbox is used for options that can be true or false. String is used for text. Integer is used for non-decimal numbers, such as quantities. Date field is used for such things as product release dates. And float field is used for decimal numbers, such as prices. For example, assume we require an attribute to signify if an item is organically grown or not, and another attribute to define an item's country of origin. The first attribute is a yes-no question, or true-false, so we'll name the attribute organic and define its type as checkbox. The second attribute will need to house text and would therefore require a string. I'll name it CO for country of origin. Please note, the names of the attributes are for your understanding only, as NitroCell can synchronize to whatever attribute names you create. In other words, the name of an attribute will not appear automatically on the web store, but is only a data field that we may upload and display under any name later. Two basic features you'll use frequently are search and sort. To sort most attribute columns, click the attribute name. A small arrow will appear indicating the direction of the sort, A to Z or Z to A. You'll notice that when you select a column to sort by, the search pane also changes. This indicates that by entering text into this field, it will search that attribute for a match. Please note, unlike a search engine, this search field only looks for exact character matches in sequential order. Next, we'll explore string functions and formulas. String functions are only used on string attributes and allow you to copy data from other strings or assign values, add text before or add text after, and find and replace text. 
To demonstrate these, we'll perform a common task. By default, most POS description fields have a character limit of 30. First, I'll use Assign Values to copy the 30-character description into the 150-character Web Description attribute. First, right-click in the column you wish to copy data to. Select String Functions, then Assign Values. By default, the tool indicates what attribute you've selected. Using the drop-down menu, we can see the available attributes that can be copied into the column. We'll select Description. Note that you could also manually enter text to be copied into all items. The last step before performing the function is to select the direction in which you'd like the data to be copied. In most cases, both directions is desirable. However, you can also choose to go forward or down the list and backward or up the list. Remember that with the filter in place, you can target a large group of items and make broad changes to all of them. Also note, it is important that you are not sorting by the column you are attempting to edit, as it will result in a failure. The column cannot sort and be edited simultaneously. To avoid this, simply sort by any other attribute. Now, we'll add text before and after. With the right click in our newly populated web description column, I'll choose to add text before. Notice you can add text from a different attribute or enter your own. I'll enter an arbitrary brand name. A, B, C. Note that if you fail to enter a character space after your text, the text will run up against the existing characters, like this. Discarding the changes, we'll perform the function again and add a space after our text. The same principle applies for text after, except you'll require a leading space to separate the text. Let's assume after committing the changes, you'd like to change the text you've added. By replacing text, we can seek out characters and either replace them with different text or nothing at all. Find ABC and a space. Replace with nothing. Apply. A similar feature to string functions is apply formula. Unlike strings, formulas may only be used in float or integer fields, just as strings may only be used with strings. In this demonstration, our goal is to take the existing POS prices and increase them by 10% for use on the web store. To do so, we'll first expose the price and web price attributes in PAM. When numbers are present in web price, that price is used at the web store rather than the POS price. To perform a formula, right-click in the column where the results will be saved and select Apply Formula. In the dialog box, select the base field to manipulate, then the appropriate operator. In this case, we require manipulating the price by a fixed value of 1.1. As before, be cautious of the direction your formula is made if a filter is not already in place. Select Apply, review the changes for accuracy, and commit the changes if satisfied. Please note that formulas are applied per instance and that only the items selected during the operation will be affected by the formula. Next, we'll explore creating an alternative web-only navigation structure. First select Options, then Settings, and then select Use Alternative Web Navigation. Now select Tools, then Navigation Structure Manager. You'll notice now that the Structure Manager is absent from Departments and Categories. By selecting New under Departments, you may enter a new department code and name. Then, by highlighting that department and selecting New under Categories, you may add categories to that department. With the new navigation structure created, you may then make new assignments. Please note that in order for your web store to recognize the use of alternative web navigation, you must toggle it in NSC Sync or NSC Server Sync, Open Sync, File, Profile Settings, and using the drop down menu, select Use Web Navigation. Finally, we'll explore Item Navigation Assignments, or the utility used to place items in multiple departments and categories. Please note 
that at least one item must be assigned natively or primarily to a department or category you are assigning items to secondarily. Select Tools, then Item Navigation Assignment. A dialog box opens, displaying the items currently visible based on the PAM filtering. In most cases, your first step is to create a narrow filter to display only a group of items you wish to place into an additional department or category. With your filter in place, simply use the department and category dropdowns to select the additional location where you'd like the items to appear. You may choose to select one item at a time or every item created by the filter. They may be removed just as easily. Please notice that a warning will appear if you attempt to remove an item from its primary department using the Item Navigation Editor. You may only change an item's native navigation assignment in the regular PAM interface or the POS. This completes the PAM Advanced Features tutorial. For further assistance, see the NitroCell Partner Portal or contact support through the ticket system. Thank you for watching. NitroCell Integrated E-Commerce, helping you succeed online.